What if you were to take the graphical style of the game World Box, but then you were to put together the plan your army, put them on the battlefield, and have them fight battle simulator style, a la totally accurate battle simulator. But then you mix in some magical ingredients known as RPG mechanics. Well, you'd get Heroes Hour. So we're gonna pick a large map. Three for the T. Now I'm playing the free to play demo version, but it's like for $10 on itch.io. There's gonna be a link in the description. And if ever I forget, just remember, Google the name of the game. But I'm thinking we've got like four different factions or we could just randomly choose them, right? But we've, we sort of have like the necromantic bad guys in the forces of decay. Looks like you sort of have like magic wielding Aladdin people in arcane. You've got wild wood elves and dryads, maybe Edia and Ents. But then, you know what, Let, let's go ahead and be the order faction. Then you get to choose your hero and they're gonna start with different starting equipment and abilities. Decreases the cost of hiring units in your towns. That sounds fantastic. And Kazadra, is that supposed to be a princess? Because it kind of looks like a barbarian. And we'll just have the other two factions being completely random and we're gonna start the game. So then the maps generate, oh my God, simple concentric type map. Step four. Is this like AI like showing me its brain right now? Yeah. Holy crap it is. We've seen the brain of the artificially intelligent and we were none the wiser. But the adventure begins now. So look at this, this is the overworld. And somewhere in there is a little baron controlling a castle. Here's my hero and all of the different things, little unit, little slots for items, things of that nature, the RPG-esque mechanics of it all. And by the way, we're gonna be able to find these things through participating in battles. And the battles are gonna kind of play out, in my opinion, it's, it's effectively battle similar because I don't really directly control the units. I get to put them out formationally, positionally, and they go about their work with their due diligence. Oh my God, it's a mermaid. The sight of a mermaid is said to bring great luck for the rest of your life. And even if it won't, the tale is sure to raise morale. Okay, so there's like just randomly generated things, which I think is gonna really increase the replayability. Now currently, of the things that I can see, there's two of these uh, little kind of neutrals. What do they call them in League of Legends? Creeps, right? So you got, you got these like neutral, faction situations there. I'd have to fight him, but I could take control over an alchemy lab or I could take control of a sulfur mine and then start getting those resources. And oh my the way, wait till you see how resources like work. It's actually really cool. So right now, let's go to our main city, the Treven Castle Treven, or I guess it'd be the city, town, whatever it may be. It needs a tavern, doesn't it? But that looks like it would cost some of our main resources, right? So obviously we got gold or wood, mercury, crystal, and sulfur. So one of the things that I want to do is increase my army. Right now we've got militia and marksmen. Uh, 11 militia, seven marksmen. So let's go ahead and get as many as we can. Now we got 26. So now this should, it still says it's impossible, but we did increase the chances of victory by upgrading our army size. So this is kind of like the units that we're gonna have available. We got marksmen, monks, swordsmen, strong arms. Looks like dudes with giant war hammers, crusaders, cavalry, and we got griffins. Okay, I kind of feel like uh, Carl Franz right now. And then it's sort of like turn-based, which kind of reminds me a little bit of the Total War games. And I can like click around and go exploring and it looks like, oh, a trading post. Visit the trading post allows the hero to buy and sell resources at a good exchange rate. Yeah, so I don't want to get involved with either of these skirmishes, but I do want to see what's going on in the world around me. Ooh, a moderate battle. Okay, that, that looks like something we might be able to do, but eventually you're gonna run out of movement points. Basically, the time of the day has expired and we need to end our turn. And we turn. Verdant Decay, okay. And the Indigo Horde and the Verdant Decay apparently are the other factions that are gonna be on this giant overworld map. And actually, we can see certain things right here. Oh, what the heck is this? Wait, is this like a portal? Did we? Oh! <gasps> We discovered a portal that will allow us to get to like other realms, potentially even other continents. That sounds like a very fantastic thing indeed. All right, so we upgraded our barracks, which allows us to train more people, allow us to buy and sell resources for gold. A blacksmith would allow us access to swordsmen and strong arms for 1500, but we've already built some today, so I don't think we're able to build again. 
and I really want to get involved in a fight. Yeah, it looks like there's like some elemental creatures that are guarding this. Impossible. Oh, look, but look. Oh, here's another portal down here. Oh, all three portals are right here. Oh. So the green one goes there, the other green one goes there, and the blue one goes there. Because we got to have two different greens, right? We have emerald green and the, the, the other one. We're going to get some gold. Yeah, free chests. Okay, so here in classic roguelite fashion, we get a random event, you know, or rather from gathering this treasure chest, we get a choice. Which one do we get? Thousand gold or four mercury? We'll go with gold, baby. We live by the golden rule. He who hatheth the gold maketh the rule. Sun Tzu said that, I believe in the art of rules. So let's see, we're pretty low on movement, but I wanted to unlock this. But I think we're gonna get to see our first battle. Let's do it. Okay, so now essentially what happens, you're like, wait, Baron, you said that there were armies. All I see is your hero, represented by the dude on the horse, our marksmen, which have a number seven, and then a bunch of dudes with spears. Well, here, we're gonna do the old flanky and spanky, because I can't put my men, this is about as far over as I can, right? And the enemy looks like they've got deck mates. So maybe these are some kind of aquatic pirates. It looks like, you see that? Is that like a octopus tentacle flailing or a tail? We're not entirely sure. All we know is we need to kill them. Now they got 19 of them, right? So now watch what happens when we start the battle. Boom! It kind of reminds me a little bit of like right click to necromance. So our hero's getting in there and I can't directly control them at all. I can defend, I can attack. By going down here, I actually kind of uh, like pause the game actually. That's pretty cool. And I think you can do light commands, but it's kind of fun to do it battle simulator mode. And look, they're retreating. <laughs> Some of them were actually running away. What would be kind of cool though, is after the battle, like, can I recruit them? Or maybe they have a chance if I'm- Super charming and persuasive. To get them to join my side. Yet, here we are. We gained some experience, which should help us level up. And, ooh, an ore quarry. Once captured, gives two ore each day. And currently, and that's unowned. Yeah, man, there's some weird demons guarding these, like, portals. There's multiple portals. Okay. And they just keep popping up. The more I discover them, the more... Oh, what is that? Do you see that? Like, one of these units looks like Medusa. There's, like, some weird lizard people. A weird dude with, like, red ears and a staff. I don't know what his deal is. Okay. But we're gonna end the turn here. The other factions will end that turn as well. Oh, who... Wait, who the heck is this? Oh, he's a neutral faction. He looks like he has cat people and butterfly people. He's actually a cat. <laughs> That's weird. All right, yay, we've claimed it. So now this is kind of the cool part. This produces two ore per each day. Well, what do you think this card is? This is the ore that I produce, and it will follow the paths all the way back up to my castle. So this looks like kind of a garrison fort. I don't want to get mixed up with them, but I do want this wood, and I don't want to fight any of that. Uh, there is some chests down here, and then 10 to 20 looks like ogres on a horse with giant swords. But look at this. I love it. The little ore is just being transported back. This is awesome. This is like some really cool world building stuff in my opinion. Like you can really just like jump into the lore of your own game and just like role play if you wanted to. So I do want that. Oh man, I thought I got both. I have to choose. Do I want five people with giant hammers, 109 health, 12 damage, and five speed, or swordsman? which also have some abilities. Slow, this creature moves slowly across the battlefield. The creature is more difficult to knock back because they're sturdy and they're protected because of the shield. Honestly, I want some very strong frontline troops. So we shall select them and let's go ahead and create the max number. Oh, and it looks like I can put them in garrison now. Can I get them in my army at all? Maybe. All right, looks like I can grab that wood without triggering this person. That's good. You, you don't want to trigger people on the internet. That's one of the things I've learned. All right, we'll end this turn. It looks like, oh, so these are the days of the week. Cool. Oh, that was one of the, that was one of the enemy factions. They're over in the desert. That seems relatively close to us. So I think let's just like go exploring a bit. See what's up. Oh, an obelisk. Okay. And a treasure chest. And it looks like some mermaid people or like Medusa type snake people. Now, I'm not entirely sure what an obelisk is. You find the monolithic stone forgotten by time. Brushing away dirt and grime reveals an ancient language. It was an age of great renown. All right, let's get a, ooh, a child of Midas. 
Now, Midas was like the dude who turned everything gold, right? Yeah! Acquired a treasure. Elemental. Oh, we got an elemental. Now, does that... Oh, and he joined my army. Okay, so there's actually three of them. That's fantastic. That should help us. Is it... Oh, this went from impossible to near impossible. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, whoa. This is one of the uh, neutral armies. She's going after the Crystal Temple, it looks like. And there's our, like, iron mine carts just running around doing their thing. So I'm thinking what we want to do is get back... Oh, that's gold, isn't it? Oh, there's just, like, resources lurking around. I need to be far more aware of my surroundings. Now, the reason I found out about this game was actually from watching, like, this YouTube channel. His name's Splattercat. Love the dude. But yeah, I saw Splattercat play it, and I was like, this, this looks like a game that combines a number of things that I really, really enjoy. So, we just had to do it. All right, can we get any more soldiers? What if I upgraded my blacksmith again? Would that work? Oh, I can upgrade my knights to some really good stuff. Let's upgrade our armory. We'll have to do that next turn. So maybe we explore a little bit more. I think I should be able to get those wood. So we're week one. I think week one's about to end. We have survived our first seven days in our own little world. I don't think I can sneak through this... Well, it looks like an impenetrable wall. All right, I actually want to... Oh, yeah. Max. Max. And I wanted to upgrade my armory. Yeah. Max. That should get me a much, much bigger army. So I can actually... Oh, that's a genie lamp. That's a genie lamp. And don't you love it? Like, look, our army men are sort of like scouting around the hero right now, which I just think is fantastic. All right, so what's north of here? Ooh, a moderate uh, little wood farm, a sawmill that looks like it's started by goblins with meat cleavers. Wish, the purest of power, stored in every but to the lamp. Whatever hero picks this up will outgrow their peers. I would like to outgrow my peers. I will take the one luck because I feel like we can easily get gold, but luck is harder to come by. All right, we will go to our second battle. Now, Elementals, the sons of Midas, you are going in first. You are large and in charge, and we need that. Cavalry, you will flank from the south. Archers, you may uh, prepare yourself in the rear. And then we just go and look at these big Elementals. Oh, they're so great. Oh, thank Midas for giving me these like, oh, they're golden bag demon things. It's kind of interesting because obviously they're very small scale and they're like pixel art, right? So we won that and it doesn't look like we lost any units. So, and we gained some significant XP and now we get to upgrade our hero. So Midas touch when the hero attacks, they have a chance to turn enemies into golden statues, instantly killing them and adding gold to, oh my. Gold. Mastery gives monks, recruits monks for this hero's army over time. Or Friar, if your hero already has any in their army. Gives your gold, gives your hero gold every day. This is so tough. I think I'm gonna go with the estates, but Midas Touch, you're right, Midas Touch sounds way cooler, so we're doing that one. <laughs> now let's claim the sawmill. Well, first we're out of movement. We probably wanna get that gold and then these two things of wood. But look at this, like, my kingdom is growing. We've got iron supplied to the kingdom, and now we're gonna get gold. And it looks like I don't- I'm not sure if raiders can, uh, gain access to my stuff. Aha! Uh -huh. So now we've claimed, so now we should see little- uh -huh. Wagons of wood. I love it. Alright, so this guy's still impossible. We need to build up our army. Who- this one- I- I know I saw one that said near impossible. She's near impossible. Near impossible. Impossible. Near impossible. Yeah. And then these things are impossible. These, like, garrison forts on my border that keep me from expanding. Oh. Now, there's, like, other factions in here. Like, some of the ones that we- that were locked were, like, I think they were dwarves. And I would love if their kingdoms were, like, in the mountains. I think that'd be so cool. Now, what can we buy? I want to- Oh. Has grown to a township. Now, what do we want? Makes the first intent and ballista free at the engineer. Gives a medium amount of gold, ore, and wood, crystal mercury once a week. Greatly increase his weekly growth of militia and halberd units. Ah, I'm gonna take the money, you know what I mean? Definitely taking the money. We must return to the castle. But I love this. It's a beautiful, like, mesh of, like, so many of my favorite things in games. Alright, so I want- there we go. I want all of these units to join me. Oh, this one's easy way down here. Guarding, there's something here. It looks like a flag, maybe an old battlefield. Oh, yeah. The world is mine. Yep, we're going here. Let us attack these people. Who are these people? We've got rangers, swordsmen, and knights. It looks like rebels. You dirty rebel scum. 
All right, so there are armies down here and the rangers up here. So I'm thinking we send the cavalry to harass their archers. Actually, militia behind the... Actually, knights are going up there. They're armored. Hey, you know, we're going to try it this way. Start the battle. I mean, we outnumber them. Oh, I accidentally left a command, apparently. <laughs> I know exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so the cavalry's running in. A lot of these knights are just, like, soaking up arrows. We are taking casualties. I'm definitely seeing a lot of our brave soldiers strewn about on the battle. Uh, did my hero? What are you doing over there? You take a lot of arrows to the face? Player one. Now, we lost four knights and 11 militia. Everybody else seems to be okay. And Cassandra gained 3,785 XP. It's fantastic. Let's actually get gold estates. And this one too. I mean, why not? If it's on the menu, we'll get all these goodies. Bet you want these goodies that you thought about them. Oh, hello, other factions. Doing your running around all hippity bippity. I wonder if I could get a neutral hero to join me. Oh, you may spend 2,000 gold, five wood, and five ore to build a sulfur mine here. Do we have the resources? Yeah. Five wood and five ore, both of which we have being supplied from the buildings that we've captured in the countryside. So that's fantastic. And now, yeah, there's our ore, there's our wood, there's our sulfur, alchemy lab, and then a crystal mine. And this is a challenging skirmish. So how does I get more soldiers? Oh, wow. So we, we actually can create units that can defend themselves in times of an attack and if you go wait actually if you start the infirmary and go down this tech tree this allows us to get a griffin towner <laughs> a griffin tower Ooh, okay let's do that moderate we've got a number of moderate oh wait a minute i think the neutral just killed s the neutral army killed someone guarding this portal so i guess it's good to kind of keep them around in a way what she you son of a biscuit she done claimed my mind Oh, they call that a mine, friend, and it is mine. I do not... You've done crossed the line. You're hard. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Uh, but we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna kill you. You know, you, they were good and they were bad. I don't know what to do. Wait, there are multiple neutral armies running around here. Wait a minute, who are these people? The Indigo, oh, the Indigo Horde. They came through a portal. These are the bad guys. Bruh. Oh my goodness, we got problems! And here I am down in the south, fighting easy battles, you know what I mean? Whoa, I got a warrior monk, apparently. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Alright, put everybody there. Infantry on the front lines. Monk behind him. You're probably gonna heal. Yeah, you got this little heart there. And cavalry down here. Go ahead and start. I want the cavalry. Yeah, dude, just, just like that. Oh man, they got big ol' like... War cavalry, it looks like. I mean, of course it's war cavalry. It's cavalry used in war. By its very definition. We lost a few people, another knight, and four halberdiers. I guess my militia have upgraded themselves. And getting this XP will allow me to get toxicology, air magic, tactics. Oh, I definitely want more tactics because that increases my army size. All right, we got a ton of resources there. I think what we need to do, we might actually have to build a fort. Max... Max. All right, so my garrison is not paltry, but it could be better. Let's get a fort. And what do we want? Its weekly growth will increase as stated. So what do I, I feel like I want archers. Why not? You know? Oh, look at this. I love this. This is the free version. Want to play this on Steam? Go and wishlist it. That is really cool. That's a nice feature. I think, you know, it's obviously... I've said it even before I started, like, releasing a game, but wishlist is a way to help out indie devs. So if ever you see a cool game, you're like, just wishlist it, man. It helps them out. They are claiming my stuff. Oh my god, they're literally just invading my empire. Now, do we go... Yeah, we... we this is mine again. Now we have to get up to my castle, get my whole army, and destroy this. Because he hired... I don't know how he has two giant armies. Wait a minute. I know exactly how. I'm gonna recruit you for 2,500 gold. Oh my god, I can't... And then I can get... Upgrade. Upgrade. Max. Ugh. It's not a very big army. And now I got this guy. Go claim him back. This is cool. Okay. I love the ability to have, like, multiple armies. Man, the other armies over here claiming stuff. Who is it? They just... What, what are you doing? That's illegal. That's my stuff. It's my stuff. And I don't want you in it. Because... It's mine, right? Get everybody in here. Oh my. I've got a big army. What? Dang. I should be able to defeat this blue army. Moderate and easy. Oh yeah. We're doing that. 
All right, so we will defend our lands, although blue and green are all up in here. They must have, like, gotten multiple... Did you attack me? Oh my god, that's illegal. All right, they attacked my small army. Now, what is this? A shaman. Okay, we're gonna kill all the shamans. See, this is one of those, we're gonna lose, but we're gonna take as many of them down with me as possible. Get those three big shaman. Look at how big this army is. They've got centaurs, they got bird people. What are these bird people? The Rondu of the Indigo Horde. Okay, goblins, harpies, centaurs, shaman. Wait, you can't, you can't just like defeat me and then run all over the place, can you? I mean, I guess you can. All right, I'm gonna kill this horde. All right, this is the big battle. The first big battle. All right, so they've got 10 centaur archers down there. Uh, shaman. It casts spells. The harpies, the gobos. This looks like a job for sending everybody in. <laughs> all right, now how do we kill? Yeah, we want all of our big strong units. And we'll have these guys here. And we'll have our hero there, I guess. Too many units on the field. Send back to reserve. All right, so we send some units back to the reserve, I guess. But only bits of them. I'm not entirely sure how we get those reinforcements, but we'll figure it out when we figure it out. I mean, that's just the truth about it. So some of the militia are going against the centaur archers. My hero's getting hurt. Someone put snakes behind my lines? Are those, like, they kind of look like cobras, but then also like demonic grub worms. I don't know where they came from, but I'm assuming the shaman know. Yeah, we defeated. Okay, look at that. So that was a pretty epic battle. We gained a lot of XP. Now, we've got to figure out what to do next. But I think it's safe to say that Hero's Hour, which is available on Itch and could be wishlisted on Steam, is pretty awesome. I'm a big fan of it right now, but if you guys do want to see more of this and see, well, quite frankly, our kingdom expand outside of its borders, which are continually beset by enemies, well, let me know. So pull the trigger on the like button if you do want to see more and you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye